Hey there guys and welcome back to the Soul Calibur 5 custom characters, this time the formula of Taskmaster, the villain slash mercenary from the Marvel Universe. If you have no clue who Taskmaster is, go and read up on him on Wikipedia and stuff and you'll learn to love him like I do because he's such a badass character. So the equipment, the skull mask, the rubber unitard, then the thief's belt, I think, we wear pants. Uh, I can't really read that. Death's cloak, wide opening gloves on the arms, and cuff boots. And then the long bow in his left hand. Yes, he's so awesome, he can hold a bow even while using a sword and shield. And a handgun, which is there on his thigh. So I made it to look like it's attached to the belts he's wearing. Kind of like an actual holster. And that's it equipment wise. Weapon style Patroclus with that weapon. Can't really read it that well. Screen's too tiny. Skin color doesn't matter. You don't really see his skin anyway. I think that that's still the default colors for the skull mask. So he's left it that. Anyway the unitard's dark blue. The belts are all lightish brown. He's got lots of belts with lots of weapons attached because that's what Taskmaster does. He's basically a combat specialist, fights with lots of weapons. And the wear pants looks kind of odd with the fur, but that was the only way I could really get that white thong, like the white underwear thing he has going on there. I mean, that part of the wear pants looked just like it, but there was just the fur in the way, so I made it the same color as the rest of his outfit so that it wouldn't really be that noticeable, but it's still kind of there. Anyway, the cloak, white on the outside, orange on the inside. And gloves are all white throughout. Because, uh, yeah, he's clean like that. He wears white gloves like a gentleman. Boots are all white as well. Uh-huh. Oh uh, yeah, the soles are 901, because that kind of blends in better with the rest of the boot. Bow's brown, string, is just, I think that's default color. The gun thing is the same as the belts, and the gun itself is just gray. So a Taskmaster is probably one of the more complicated designs I made. He involves quite a few amounts of stickers. Uh, let's see, this one on the upper body is the one underneath his cloak. Because he kind of had like a little stretch of yellow slash orange there. I didn't really get the color right exactly because for some reason when you put stuff on undergarments you can't make it like fleshy colors because then you can make nude characters and they don't want you to do that. And the other stickers are kind of like on his arms, kind of past his gloves because he has some yellow slash orange there as well. So here's a shield, it's blue, the other designs on it are kind of orangey doesn't really look like his actual shield but I have to work with what I'm given here so I can't make an, uh, a one-on-one -on -one replica obviously also I do kind of like how it how the bow in his hand looks when he's holding the shield okay onto his alternate costume which is one of his other designs from one of the many comics he's been in it's pretty badass design with the serial killers mask the long sleeve top and the simple top and I don't know what that says. And I don't slacks and something. Hermit's hood because he can't wear a cape for. Oh, he doesn't wear a cape in this outfit. P bow, that's the shoulder pants thing. And the honor boots. And then two handguns on the belt around his hip because he doesn't really have a bow in this. Like in the storyline that he wears this costume in. I think he doesn't, I don't think he has really a sword either, he just wields two guns. But two guns is not a selectable weapon style for this game, so he still has the same sword and shield. Except it looks slightly different now. Kinda based this around his alternate costume in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Now we have some face paint on here so that the eye holes behind the serial killer mask look kinda dark. But without making his, just like making his skin all black because that one worked out because he is still like a white man underneath the mask and someone just came offline yeah I really need to remember to sign off a PSN before I make these videos anyway the colors are mainly like dark grayish blue 
And lots of white, surprisingly. He's really flashy, fashionable dude. Colors kind of work well. They don't really clash that much, I think. So everything is just kind of darkish blue and kind of gray and white. Lots of white. Now, once again, I didn't get the design like 100% accurate because it's just impossible. I have to work with the parts I'm given. I'll, I'll try to make it look as much like the source material as I can, but sometimes it just can't be done and I have to compromise. Pretty sure you guys will understand. So yeah, there we go, the colors for the guns. And he doesn't have any stickers. And the weapon, the shield, actually has a little pattern on it this time because... Um, in the comics, he had a device that could make weapons out of energy or something. And he used that to make a shield quite a lot, and it kind of had a wavy pattern on it, and I kind of tried to remake that. It looks pretty decent, I think. Not really that noticeable, but it doesn't look too bad. Anyway, that's how you make my Taskmaster in Soul Calibur 5. Bye-bye.